Hi, I'm Dee at Kennedy Space Center in the Apollo Saturn V Center, home to the world's biggest moon rocket. Today I'd like to talk to you about the mission patch for Apollo 14. This was a significant mission because it was our return to the moon after NASA's successful failure, Apollo 13. Apollo 14's mission was commanded by Alan Shepard, the first American in space, lunar module pilot Edgar Mitchell, and command module pilot Stuart Rusa. If you look at the mission patch, you'll notice it shows the trajectory coming from Earth to the moon. But instead of a spacecraft, there's this weird symbol with a star and rays and an ellipse. That's actually the astronaut lapel pin. Astronauts get a silver one when they graduate training, and they get a gold one after they've actually gone into space. The three rays of that pin symbolize the three early space programs, Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo, all coming together to shoot for the stars. That ellipse represents being in orbit. Apollo 14 orbited Earth, but then it went on to orbit the moon several times, collecting all kinds of scientific data. But my favorite thing about the Apollo 14 mission is the fact that Alan Shepard, in addition to collecting rocks and things, performed a very interesting experiment on the moon. How far would a golf ball fly in one sixth of Earth gravity? Now he could only use one hand to hit the golf club because of the constraints of his spacesuit, but he did it twice and that golf club sent that golf ball flying so far that I don't think it will ever be found. Here's your mission today. Think of a sport you'd like to play on the moon and draw us a picture of what it would look like. Is it basketball, baseball, golf? The sky's the limit. This is Dee at Kennedy Space Center reminding you to have fun today, stay safe, and keep looking up.